We're gonna be breaking down how you can edit like Central C super easily. Well, I jumped on a private jet and I'm asking a pilot the ETA. Lambo parked on a landing strip, everyone in my gang and my DJ paid. If you guys like breakdown videos just like this, make sure to hit subscribe because I'm going to be uploading a video every single day this month. So starting off here, we have the music video. And if we just zoom out here, you guys can see the amount of cuts this thing has. Like it's it's very fast paced. So what I recommend you're doing when you're shooting the music video is you get a lot of performance scenes, but also getting a lot of B-roll scenes. Like a lot of this is just like chains and like clips of his friends and just lifestyle stuff. And that's what a lot of Central C's videos are. All these videos are shot on a super high quality camera. I can't tell you exactly what the camera Camera is but it's super clean and i know they're shooting it in a flat picture profile so in this video as well i'm going to be teaching you guys how you can color grade your footage to look exactly like this but starting off on the effects here they use this super simple black flicker effect throughout the video it's super easy to create all you guys have to do is right click inside of your project right here go over to new item and then you're going to create a black video right here now there's a couple different ways that you can do this i just like doing it this way so we're going to go and find a clip that doesn't have um, this transition on it obviously let's go here and we're going to drag and drop this black video on top of here and we're going to zoom in and extend it and let's say we want the effect to happen on this area right here we're going to press c to pull up our cut tool and then we're going to cut every frame it should auto lock just like so all right and now once we have that what we could do is we could go ahead and delete every other frame and we'll get a transition just like this so i jumped on up so i jumped on up super simple and you guys can you guys can play with the amount of frames you want to cut to or all of that to make it your own let's move on to these subtitles because he has yellow subtitles on every single one of his videos and obviously you guys probably know how to make subtitles but i'm gonna be showing you guys a super simple way that you can create them inside of premiere pro here that literally takes zero effort so all you have to do is go into the text tab right here and if you don't have that you have to go up to window and then find it at the bottom right here and then if you're already here i recommend opening up essential graphics as well because we're going to be needing that too so starting off in the text tab you want to go into the captions section and then you want to click create captions from a transcript here so we're going to click that and then we're going to open up these two settings here under lines we're going to make it say single and this is where you're going to play with the like the amount of text per lyric so if that makes any sense see how there's about like eight different uh words right here we kind of want to keep it in this range if we want that and then opening this up here if you hit mix it's going to take the audio from the entire song but if you just want to do like each individual audio layer down here you could do that as well and i would do no don't separate speakers because if you hit yes it might separate them and it kind of makes it weird so just hit transcribe and create captions you guys are going to see here it's going to automatically create the captions for you guys super simply i'm going to be showing you guys the way you can edit them in bulk and get it done super quickly all right so now that we have all of our captions in here obviously a lot of them aren't going to be accurate so it's it's pretty accurate all you have to do to edit them is go up to this area right here double click on it and then just like edit it and then double click on the next one edit it super simple just like that and if you want to cut them same as before you move them around to bulk edit them you want to highlight all of them just like this and then this is where essential graphics comes in so we're going to open this up here and then we're going to go into edit and then inside of essential graphics here you can change our fill to the central c yellow just like so and then we could turn our shadow off and then playing with the size here you can move that down and then you guys could also change the font as well but he's using a very simple like it's pretty much this font if you want you could throw Arial on as well so for example let's say we play this through we don't need id low bro seven it's pretty much the same thing. I'm just going to zoom in on this clip here just to show you guys. And then we're going to press Control C and apply the zoom in to the entire music video by pressing Option Command V. Okay. Super simple, guys. You guys see how that is. Um, if you want to go ahead and edit these, what you want to do is highlight all of them. Go up here to Graphics and Titles and Upgrade Caption to a Graphic. So it's just going to turn it into a regular text layer now. And now you can drag and drop like effects on them. If you want to have some like transitions on them or flickers or anything like that so i'm going to delete those captions now that we have them out of the way now moving on they use a lot of speed ramping so to show you guys what speed ramping is we're gonna look at this car clip right here you're gonna see it slow down then speed up so it uses a lot of that style and pretty much to do that all you have to do is play your clip through and then where you want it to slow down you want to press c and then cut it and press v to go back to your regular tool and you want to right click and you want to go to speed and duration right here click on that and then whatever you want to change your speed to here so if you want it to be slow motion change that to 50 percent and then i also recommend turning on optical flow just to make it a bit smoother but keep in mind if your footage was not shot in 60 frames per second or higher slowing your footage down is going to be a little bit wonky especially if you shot in 24 or 30 fps so this is going to look a little bit wonky since it wasn't shot fully in that 
So that's how you slow it down. But if you want to speed it up, which works on any type of footage, you do the exact same thing to cut then you go over to speed and duration again. And then you can pick something anywhere ranging from like 150 speed to 250 speed, I would say. And it's really just going to speed that entire clip up to make that transition. So speed ramping, super simple. Just go back and forth between your regular speed, then going to slowing it down and then going to speeding it back up into the next clip. Very simple. If you guys want to watch a lot more in-depth tutorial on speed ramping, I'll have one linked right here that you guys can watch. All right. And I'm moving on to this next effect here. It's very simple, but as you guys can see, it's like this brightness effect where it starts off super bright and then comes down for these car scenes here. So we're going to be doing that on this clip. Let's do it on these two clips right here. So we're going to go into project. We're going to right click. We're going to hit new item and then we're going to hit adjustment layer and then we're going to hit OK and we're going to drag our adjustment layer in on top of our clip and then we're going to hold option if you're on Mac and we're going to drag it on top of the next one here. Now that we have two of these, we're going to go on to effects and we're going to search. We're going to search brightness and contrast here and we're going to drag and drop that on top of this clip right here. And then we're going to go into effect controls. Now at the very beginning of the clip, we're going to move our playhead to it right here. We're going to keyframe brightness and contrast here and we're going to turn our brightness up and our contrast up and then we're going to go about two frames and then hit reset and we get that effect right there how it starts bright and then comes down um to make this a lot smoother what you could do is you can highlight the first two keyframes right click on them and then go into ease out for the first ones and then go to the last ones here do the exact same thing and then do ease in where's my where's my and that just makes it a lot smoother and then we're just going to duplicate this and bring it over here where's my man talking about inshallah these times he don't and if you do want to mess with it you can just bring these keyframes over inshallah these times he don't even pray super smooth and you guys could see like i was saying earlier it's just a bunch of b-roll of his homies and then slow motion shots with subtitles it's very simple but i think what brings it together is it's a very high quality camera like this could easily be shot on an a7s3 with a really nice lens probably shot on something more expensive but you can get the exact same look doing that exact same thing here guys he's playing it's a regular speed clip and then when the beat comes in they cut it they do the exact same thing they go to speed and duration they make it 50% speed and then you guys can see boom it slows down and then it cuts really fast here right to the beat so cutting to the beat is also very essential for these types of videos as well you want to make sure you could take this area right here and bring it down and then you can see where these peak right here is we're going to be all the beats hit so if you follow that you can really cut to the beat and make everything flow super well so in the video as well they use a lot of these whip transitions which is pretty much the director just taking the camera and whipping it to the side now, if you want those kind of effects, but you didn't shoot the video and you forgot, or you forgot to do the camera whips yourself, what you could do is bring an adjustment layer in and then going into effects, we're going to use my fast movement effects pack going into V3 here in the bundle. We'll have a bunch of white transitions. So if you go into fast wipe here and drag and drop that on, you guys could see without it versus with it. And this is an adjustment layer at six frames. If you want to go ahead and make that four frames, we could have it a lot quicker. And then we have another one there as well that they did in camera, just like so. And you can achieve the exact same thing by doing these. And there's ones going up, there's one going sideways, there's one going diagonal. There's a bunch of stuff inside of that pack there for you guys to play around with. Now, next, we, they use a lot of these zoom outs here, as you guys could see. That's a fake zoom. You can create those as well just by dragging and dropping an adjustment layer in. And then going into effects, we're going to type transform and we're going to drag on transform with motion blur. And what we're going to do is we're going to set a keyframe for the scale and position at the beginning and holding command, we're going to zoom in. And then we're going to make sure our shutter angle here is at 360 and that this use composition shutter is unchecked. And then we're going to go a couple frames forward and we're going to hit these reset buttons to create these keyframes. And we're going to get these zoom outs here. I think it looks a lot smoother with the motion blur as you guys can see but if you want to turn that blurriness down all you have to do is go over to your shutter angle and turn it down so let's say you want something a lot more smooth like that so that's how you can do with those and I think those are super essential to use in music videos because they look very clean and then a lot of momentum all right and now we're going to be moving on how you can color your videos like central c now this is a super well colored video what I'm going to do is I'm going to convert it into flat footage super quick and then we're going to start at the very beginning which your footage would be if you shoot it flat which i recommend you do and then we're going to color it back to look like this so this has now been converted into flat footage now to color it we're going to drag and drop an adjustment layer on top of it 
And then we're going to go into Lumetri Color here. Now, there's a couple ways you can color your videos. I love using LUTs to color my videos. It's a great base and then tweaking with it after. There's a bunch of free LUTs on the internet, but I'm going to use my ultimate LUT pack. So going into Creative, under Look, we're going to hit None and then hit Browse. And we're going to open up my ultimate LUT pack, which as you guys can see here has 1 through 285, 282, my bad, uh, 282 different LUTs and then 7 additional film LUTs. So we're going to pick a completely random LUT here. Let's go with 119. And I think that's a great base we can really tweak this to look like the video now if we go into basic correction here also if you think it's too strong you can turn on the intensity here as well which i'm going to turn that down a little bit then we're going to go back into basic correction here and we're going to turn the saturation up and then the video was very blue so we're going to turn the blue up here and then we're going to turn the contrast up the shadows down and then the highlights up uh, let's turn the highlights down a little bit let's go for a look like that and then boom i think we have a super clean color grade there guys if we compare this to the flat footage and if we compare the flat footage to the actual footage the actual footage has a lot more saturation in it where compared to ours it's more of a washed out look but you can just fix that by turning this up here or adding another lumetric color and turning that up as well now hopefully you guys enjoyed this video on how to edit your videos like central c make sure to leave a like and subscribe as i'm going to be uploading every single day for the month of june and if you guys liked any of the editing packs that i use in this they'll be linked below on my website you guys can use code 15 off to get 15 percent off those i'll see you in the next video peace